Hey, this is video two. This is the jewelry I got today. Um, altogether, I spent like 440 on stuff, and I spent 250 of it on jewelry. I'm going to start off with uh, the biggest buy. The, this is what happened to us this morning. It never happens. We roll up on a place. Do you have any jewelry? Well, we do have jewelry. We just haven't gotten it yet. Um, we're going to go get it later. We're like, well, we like jewelry. Will you go bring it for us? And like, yeah, sure. Okay, they bring it, right? And... Um, you know, they got like five trays, and they're telling us how much they have, and all this jewelry, and they even have more. So we left them business cards, of course. Um, but um, they had these five trays, and we're like looking at it, and it's like, oh, man, people are going to start showing up. Everybody's going to stick in their paws. And so we go like, hey, how much for uh, all the jewelry? Would you take, would, would you consider one price, and then you just sell it, and you're done with it, you know? And um, have you thought about that? So um, they're like, I don't know, what do you want to offer? So we look at it, and there's five trays with like a lot of stuff, and my wife's picking out some things and trying to get a sense of what... Um, the jewelry might be worth, so I'm like, wow, well, offering a hundred, see what they say, right? And uh, so she says, uh, how about a hundred? And the guy was like, well, I don't know. Of course, now he doesn't know, you know, before he didn't know and before we made the offer and everything. He goes, I was thinking more like two, so, you know, why didn't he just say two to begin with? But whatever. So my wife says, okay, give me a few minutes and um, I'll see what we got in there. And um, this stuff is a tangled mess, but over there, there's, there's enough that made it more than worthwhile. We're already ahead of the game without even having to really try and sell anything. And then, like, this stuff we can go through, and this will be, like, uh, gravy, as you say. So, anyway, we're going through when people start showing up, and my wife pulled out enough sh stuff. She said, you know what, let's do it. And um, we basically, this is one of the very few times where we kind of bought everything um, at a sale for one price, which is $200, which still ain't cheap, but, you know. Uh, but let me show you the good stuff that I got. Uh, first of all, uh, this pays for it. That's a piece of 14 karat gold, a necklace that was mixed in there, and we were able to find it. Uh, so that pays for that. Uh, now we're already in the profit zone. Um, this is a uh, Miriam Haskell bracelet. I don't have a. It looks gold fill, but I don't really know. I don't have a. No, I don't think it is. I don't have a clue what this is worth, but I figured at least forty dollars. Um, more gold. These these earrings are gold here, and maybe there's mates to uh, to these two. I don't know. We have to look. Um, these are pearls, and that is a gold clasp. So we got we made more than our money back in gold already. Uh, this is silver that was in it. Uh, but continuing on, these are Murano. I can put these on eBay. I'll probably get um, 30, 30 to 40. Um, a Margot de Taxco enamel bracelet. Uh, very good condition. I don't see anything wrong with it. Hallmarked on the inside, which you may or not may or may not be able to see. But I'm not familiar exactly what this is worth, but I'm assuming 100 plus 100, something like that. Um, this piece here is a Monet, so that's a decent piece. That's like $10 or something like that. Uh, going through more, here's just, this is pretty much just a stunning rhinestone necklace. I mean, check this out. Uh, if I could attribute it to someone, it would be worth a lot more then I'm probably going to get for it. I'd probably put it on eBay. Maybe I will put it on eBay and just ask a lot. But I'm figuring at least 75 and up uh, without any research at all on it. These are paper. Kind of neat. Uh, this is turquoise. And all this came out of that 200 So, I don't know. We're, we're looking like decent money. And continuing on, this also came out of... This is a Coro Sterling. No, maybe that didn't come out of it. Anyway, moving on. Uh, what's this? Celebrity. I, this is just regular stuff. This is probably not, another piece of silver and stuff. Um, so that covers that. And as you can see, it's a great deal. Tons of stuff. Very happy with that. Uh, moving on, at another sale, for a dollar a piece, we got all these Tiger's Eye uh, necklaces. Uh, these are... I mean, maybe Obsidian. I don't really know what that stone is. We got these heavy stone um, or, or glass uh, necklace. Stuff like this is $5 to $8. This is 10 to $20. This, again, very nice stone. This should be like 20 something like this. And here's a bracelet. This could be, and with actually faceted stone, this could be like 8 to 15 Maybe this is gold. i got to look at that. You know, um, One sale we go to, they have these Bakelite buckles. We got them all for $1. We go to another sale, the lady wants $10 a piece for them. So these two are Bakelite. This might be celluloid. I need to check it. We'll find out. Let's see. I covered all this stuff. Oh, this is pretty cool. Got a... Uh, an elephant, three bucks. That's a pendant. Not made by anybody, but I still like it. Um, crystal, I believe it came out of that large batch of jewelry. This is sterling. I bought it for a dollar. Uh, the clasp is screwed, so I'm going to scrap it. These two rings are sterling. They have marks on the inside. I haven't got a chance to read them. They're interesting, uh, but I don't know if they're worth much. I think I already talked about the coral sterling. This should be worth good money on eBay. Just a nice Christmas enamel pin. These are those uh, made in England bone china. Uh, pins. Uh, these aren't that easy to sell, but, you know, they're worth money. Yeah, let's see. And I, I think we only paid two or whatever piece. Okay, finishing up on the jewelry. For a buck a piece, we got a bunch of uh, Napier 
earrings, and a Christian Dior. And I think I'm going to lot this stuff. This, this is probably Swarovski, uh, these, this here, the, uh, the bracelet is. Uh, this is just glass, and that's Napier also. I'm going to lot that stuff, put it on eBay, and I can probably get between 5 and $10 an earring when I lot it that way. Uh, finishing up. Got some nice crystal pins. These were unsigned, not attributed to anybody, but very nice with uh, inset rhinestones. Two bucks. Some earrings, two bucks. Pin, two dollars. And stuff like this we could sell from eight to twelve or something. Another two dollars there. This is also two dollars. Uh, this was two dollars. Like between, like I said, anywhere from eight to twelve, sometimes five. Or oh, and we also bought a, a couple of. Um, rosary beads and we paid a dollar a piece for these and we will probably sell these in the five dollar range they're nice antique ones uh this one i thought maybe was silver but i don't think it is and more earrings more earrings and just some more earrings we paid two dollars a piece for those and that pretty much covers um uh, everything i got today with a couple of really great key pieces that could like this if i'm lucky it's worth good money like hundreds i'm hoping at least maybe more um and like i said it's all paid for anyway doesn't matter gold covered all uh, but anyway that's that's what i got today